Okay, we are live, episode 132. This one's going to be fire. I don't say that very often. This one's going to be. Uh, we have Elizabeth Stein with Purely Elizabeth. We have Austin Hulse with Numerator. Welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. Thanks, Mark. Love the intro. Yes. Uh, Elizabeth, uh, I have made it known multiple times that I am a fan of Purely Elizabeth. When I say things like this, I got to just provide some context. Um, it may not, I may not even be a consumer. I mean, I have, it just so happens I have a bag in my pantry, but um, uh, I, I am going to go into why this, that, and the other as we dive deep. So we're just going to start this off just again, just to lay it out there and get into the Q&A. And then I'm going to punch home why as we trend through this thing. What is Purely Elizabeth all about? When did it start? So I started Purely Elizabeth October of 2009 was our official launch. I initially started off with muffin and pancake mixes. And today we're really known for our granola, our oatmeal, and back to pancake mixes. But really at the heart of it, you know, when I started my mission as a nutrition counselor was really to help our community thrive on their wellness journey and really set this brand up uh, to succeed in that way. Helping people thrive on their wellness journey. Check, check. That's one. Okay, next. Um, <laughs> we're going to get into the today versus before. The today versus 2009. If somebody were to ask you point blank and you had to give them the elevator, it's like 30 seconds. What are the biggest differences you're seeing in CPG today versus 2009, maybe 2010, your first, let's say, 24 months of the business? Oh, great question. You know, I think when I started, the industry was uh, nowhere where it is today from the consumer lens. So we were much uh, more focused on, you know, gluten-free wasn't even hardly an industry. And now we're talking about adding in all these functional ingredients. So the consumer has come really far, so much more educated and wanting more from their food than what they did so many years ago. And I think as an industry, it's changed so much in that when I was starting out, everyone I knew who was also starting out were these like super passionate wanting to change the world foodies. And I still think that exists, but now there's so many other brands and people coming into it, I think from a monetary standpoint than necessarily always a mission standpoint. I really appreciate that the latter comment. Um, I would agree. I would agree on everything that you just noted. Uh, and I don't, I wasn't a part of this in 2009. I was actually a part of something else that was fitness related, but I didn't, I wasn't deep into the food and beverage scene like I am now, where I can take a look back at now my last six years and go, oh, wow, look at all these changes. Um, but but again, I'm going to go check two here. Check two, check two. I don't know what these sounds are. I'm making them up as I go here. It's weird. Um, is uh, as more money pours into any vertical, I'm in the Valley here. I'm like, I don't even why, I don't know why I say the Valley. It's also sounds so weird. I'm in the Bay area, California. So I'm in like tech land. I've seen it all the last however many years, right? When any, when there's a lot of money that gets poured into any vertical, things change. There's kind of a different reason for the why. And all of a sudden your purpose is totally like, wow, that is my purpose. I don't know what that was either. Um, okay, let's get into uh, let's get into something specific about the foods and like your background. What is your take on that holistic approach, wellness uh, when it comes to food? I, I have a feeling you and I are very similar. It's kind of like you know it, it, it's, but I'll let you talk. And what's your take on food and, and as far as it is nutrition and, and the like? Yeah, well, I guess first to take a step back, my holistic view is and the, the path of thriving on your wellness journey is really starting with food. So that's the foundation, but there's so many other pieces when we talk about being in good health, it's your exercise routine, your mental health, your relationships. So that's what I think about like health and wellness from a totality. But certainly as a brand, we started with food and my philosophy is 80-20 rule, really grounded in anti-inflammatory diet and um, that being not having gluten, not having dairy, lower in sugar, 
Um, that's the way that I eat. And I felt like when I formulated the product, or I don't even want to say formulated because I just made a recipe really is I always use what my foundational nutrition is. And that's how I think about the products that we make today. So it's focusing on those things, but adding in all the good things. So how, how can we add in as much nutrient value and nutrition as possible? So rather than just making a granola with oats, that's why we add in things like quinoa, amaranth, chia seed, flax, hemp. It's all the good stuff rather than being like free of the bad stuff. Check, check, check. I'm not doing the, the, the things again. So we're going to do, okay, so that's check three, okay? You see how there's going to be a trend here, folks. Check, just check the trend, what's happening here. Um, again, you and I are, are very similar uh, in, in our, our, not only our thinking, but just approach to lifestyle of health and wellness. It starts with nutrition. I know there's all these fun cliches. If, you know, abs are made in the kitchen, abs... That's all good too. You can have a six pack too. Yes, yes, you can. Yes, you can. You, I'm talking to you. Uh, anyway, uh, it, it starts with nutrition. And what a lot of people miss is the aspect of mental health that is correlated with nutrition. It's totally missed. It's missed because it's not talked on enough. Uh, I'll talk on it. I'm going to keep talking louder and louder. I know I'm in, my voice is annoying. So sorry if it's loud. Ah, anyway, uh, because Nutrition is about physical and mental health. Then, as Elizabeth had noted, which I talk on a lot too, you have to put all the other pieces together. Exercise, move your body 45 minutes a day. Yes, every day. There is no such thing as rest days. That's, I was going to say kind of a bad word, but I'm not going to do it. Um, <laughs> there, uh, sleep. By the way, sleep, you know, sleep at the end of the night, which all has an effect of what, what did you do during the day so that you can have restful sleep? Uh, water, drink water. Don't put toxins in your body. Um, I, I could go, I'll, I'll, you probably do more meditation. I can't really sit still and all that stuff. Now, there, so that's check three. Okay, let's talk on the route of, I, I almost want to touch on funding just for a second, because I know that you guys closed a really big round recently. But over the last, I guess it's 12, 13 years, if you don't mind giving us sort of like the, the, the monetary side, you don't have to be specific, but just I think people who are either starting out, especially in today's environment, or are slowly on this journey where, they're, where they want to scale, they don't understand how much money is required. Even if you're kind of keeping it lean, maybe if your margins are decent, could you kind of give us like what it took to get to where you are? That's a tough question. Um, I think, you know, starting out, I was super scrappy. And so we started with baking mixes, which wasn't a high investment um, category. You know, we didn't have to go and bake it and da 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 da. And we eventually, after year one, found a co packer who was make to order. So again, we weren't holding inventory and didn't have a ton of overhead. So initially, it was very scrappy. And I actually didn't take my first outside investment until. 2016. I have to Google it because I always forget what year it was, but it was a while. And so we were very scrappy for a long time. That said, I do remember hiring our first uh, broker management who said like, hey, we can get you into Whole Foods. It's going to end up costing like a million dollars all said and done to get product in to support it. And it, that was probably pretty accurate. So I think the lesson that I learned is that it definitely costs more money at every stage of the way than what you think it's going to be. Good comment, good, check four. Uh, it's expensive folks. I, and I will say there are, I, as I've talked about before, there are ways that you can, even in today's environment, be scrappy. You know, like I talk about farmer's markets. I know some players that are doing farmer's markets. It's like hand-to-hand -hand transactions, cash, you know, I, I, my cost is two bucks. I sell it for four. Like you got, you got your mom's helping you. Like it, it's all good. My mom uh, helped me. <laughs> yes. So, so it, it can be done. But the reality is if you found something, there's a market fit, you have some data and you're like, Ooh, I think I got something here. Let me test this regional play. Or, and then, like you said, if ever there was a Whole Foods that came, came calling, it's expensive. There's slotting and, and things that you, you know, the trade spend and everything that you got to, you got to account for. So, um, I want to talk about social media. This is going to be one of these points where it kind of comes towards our circle where I go, I don't follow brands. I've made that known. It's just one of those things I never have. 
I don't really like, need inspiration for wh where we're going and why, right? It's kind of like, th that's the whole identity of what we are. And, and so, um, but I do, I follow purely Elizabeth because I, I really appreciate it. You know, I, and I, I guess it's to say, I really appreciate Elizabeth Stein because here's the thing, we all want to know. Are you posting the stories on your Instagram? Yes. I love that answer. I am. <laughs> okay. Are you, you know, I, I'm really happy that you're transparent with this. Are you posting all of them or do you have content that's layered in there? So that you There's, know, so, yeah. Yeah. So for many, many years, it was just me posting everything. And then we hired a social media person a couple of years ago. And so over the last couple of years, they add in anything that's like specific promotional. And you can always tell because it's usually like product related or something that I'm not necessarily thinking that lens. Like I'm putting what I ate for dinner last night or my workout. And so there's that in and out of, of both sides of it. I absolutely love that. And I'm just going to use a reference here of over the last, it's not, I don't see it every day because I try not to even be on Instagram and, and all that stuff. Um, but uh, you were maybe on vacation. I see blue waters, maybe a couple weeks ago. So that's all you. You're like standing there, you, boom, you hit it, you hit it, and and we we're rolling, right? Totally, yeah. Exactly. Okay. How about a couple of the meals? Like I'm like, wow, did she just make that? What is that salad she's got going on? Is that yes? That is, yeah. I love to cook, and so um, that's my kind of my meditation, my creative outlet. So I definitely focus that on my week of adding in, I actually like never follow a recipe and hate making things twice. So that's what I enjoy posting. It is um, the transparency and purity of that, that is so, it, it's so aligned with the brand. It, it's, you know, it just connects and that's what I appreciate. And I, don't think people understand that. And if they do, they'll totally, they'll, they'll get this, right? That when I say, um, what was the last financing round that you guys closed? I think about six months ago, a couple months ago. How much was it or yeah, who was how it? Much, how much? It was 50 million. Uh, did, hello? Did, is anybody <laughs> there? Is anybody there? So listen, so listen. That's me saying it to me. It's not to you. Um, you, you can, you, you just, I, I don't, I'm not even going to say, just you understand where I'm going to go. And I'm not even going to go there. Just, I, it's just should be known. So she's posting her, her own individual content on the stories, on a specific, it's just like, I didn't, anyway, take what you want from that, but I hope you can take what you know that I'm trying to, yeah. Okay. Now, Elizabeth, um, where does the brand go from here? Uh, I would, I'm going to, we have to do a follow-up. That's going to be probably separate. I want to do a special episode. You and I just getting down on health and wellness. I think it would be magic. Love it. Sign I, me up. I, okay, fine. Good. Because I'd like to keep these punches, but, um, where does the brand go? I know that I know the categories that you're kind of you're, you're in that breakfast ish type of thing. Um, do you do you continue down this sort of road for the next 12, 18, 24 months? Or do you have this like 60 month game plan where you're like, oh, I've got some stuff, you know, don't, don't worry about that. I got I got things there. Yeah, so we have some exciting um, new product category coming out in August of this year. And then right now we're finalizing kind of that three-year pipeline. So definitely looking to be outside of breakfast. We're not a breakfast brand. We are a lifestyle platform. And so definitely don't want to be pigeonholed in breakfast. So we will definitely be going into some other areas that um, we'll be finalizing the next Two months, probably. That's fantastic. Uh, we are going to do a follow-up. And I also want to leave one note here. Besides the fact that, do I need a tan? I don't know what's happening here. Can I, can, can I, anyway. Um, 
I posted a photo, uh, she, Elizabeth may not even remember, that I took when we were at X, uh, no, it was at the Las Vegas Fancy show. Food. Fancy, Fancy Food. Fancy Food. Yeah. It was the first time I'd ever seen in person Elizabeth. She probably didn't even know who I was. She's like, who's this guy? I trying to come up here. Getting... Anyway, um, what I, I posted about it, I think that day or right around that day because of what I loved about it, the, that 30 seconds, was as I walked the show, Elizabeth was there. And by the way, I think they had just announced the financing round. We all know how it works. The financing round probably closed you know, months before, whatever it was. But the point is that she is the founder. She's been, it, it, this isn't overnight. This is 13 years. And she was in the booth, in a modest booth. I don't mind just saying, it's like, you didn't, you know, you weren't doing that, you know, $50,000. It, it was a modest, beautiful booth. She was in there doing the do. And I'll tell you, not only on that show, but I walked Expo West and I found it interesting. This, that's where I do that thing. So it's like where you have to wait for me to do it. So make, you know, it's like, yeah, anyway, found it interesting that sometimes I didn't see the founder there. And I always think that that's weird. Like you, you got to be on the grind. You, 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 you got to be on the grind. I'm saying it twice for, for Anyway, so I appreciate that, Elizabeth. Um, it was, uh, I was really happy. I don't know why. When I saw you, I was like, that's how it's supposed to be done. Well, I appreciate that you appreciate that because for me, that is the most important thing. And being like, it's my baby. Where else would I be? <laughs> if that's not important, I don't, I don't know. Uh, we you. actually talked about getting two booths next year at Expo, one upstairs and one downstairs. And I was like, we can't do that. How could I be in both places? <laughs> do, do you see that? Do, can you hear that, folks? I hope you can. Uh, OK, good. Uh, Elizabeth, I'm going to put the info there at the, at the end of this. Uh, that was amazing. Austin, we're talking numerator. Give it to us. Heat up. I appreciate it. So I just think it was interesting. We spent a lot of time talking about the consumer because market intelligence has been so long focused on the product or the sales goals. But, you know, I want, for example, right, you want your consumers to feel like they win. In order to do that, you have to understand the consumer. And so Numerator is really helping brands like I Want Organics or Purely Elizabeth put the consumer back in consumer packaged goods would be kind of my quirky way of putting it. So there's essentially two ways we help brands grow. You can either add more households or get households to buy more. And both those things can be difficult to track in 2022 when you can buy the same product anywhere you want. You can buy it on a website, you can buy it at Costco, you can buy it uh, in all these really difficult to see channels. And so what we're doing is we're, we have a sample size and a trip count and an omni-channel perspective that lets brands see where they're really able to grow, who the shoppers are, that are going to drive that growth and what are their specific needs all the way down to psychographics do they care about uh, organics do they have particular things they can't have in their diet we track everything so as we kind of do our hackathons and our research days and give each other feedback internally we lay out this environment for brands that helps you see the environment that shoppers are buying in so promotions we help you do surveys figure out what their attitudes are and we help you see what their behaviors are so what are the brands what are the channels uh, and where do you grow? Because for me, I just love seeing brands grow, especially when you have the mission. I'm totally aligned on that. That's that's kind of my wake up. That's my why in the morning. And and hopefully more of that to come as we we take on new clients. Data. You need it, folks. And a, uh, is that a Wegmans little thing back there? What, what is that? I had to shout out Wegmans. I went to school in upstate New York. So shout I out it. Wegmans. Shout out yep. Wegmans. There you go. <laughs> Uh, okay, Austin's info's there, Elizabeth's info's there. I appreciate both of you. Enjoy the week. Make it a healthy one. <laughs>